What's up guys? In this video, we're building a golf cart. Alright, so here we are, loading it up into the truck. It's been literally sitting in that corner for like the past, I'd say 10 years. So, it's pretty cool. Right, well, it took some perseverance, but it's up. So, now I'll we'll take it back. Alright guys, so here it is, back in the in the garage and it looks pretty clean i think what we need to do is we just need to clean it up a little bit because it's crazy dirty so yeah the next thing we'll do is we'll try to clean it up as much as possible and then so with golf carts there's really the controller the battery and then like that's basically it and then the motor itself so motors typically never go bad so we're hoping it's the battery So now we're just filling it up with some air, but it cleaned up really nicely. Like it's still stained and stuff, but the batteries look really, really nice. I think we found maybe a possible, well, definitely an issue, but I don't know if it's the issue, but that but battery terminal damaged. is completely corroded off. So what we'll do is we'll try to replace that one battery so we can maintain the 36 volt system because these are all six volt batteries. All right, so now we're just whipping out these wires so we can remove the batteries. And what we'll do is we'll test them each individually on a charger and see if they'll hold the charge. So that's pretty cool. This one's definitely toast, but the other ones may be okay. So if we only have to get one battery, that'd be pretty awesome. So Blake created this like battery charger like thing. And I have no idea how it works, but we're gonna use it to do all this. Yeah. It's just, it's an eye charger. It's just it's basically it's a, it's called a multi chemistry battery charger. It just works with all different kinds of batteries. And I just have it running on a 12 volt server power supply. So. Man, we're using all the science on this one. So, this is kind of a proof of concept um, to see that, and these batteries are holding voltage. Each of them have about three volts right now, except for the one that's completely destroyed. But what we'll do now is we'll get these tiny batteries. The three of these in succession will have like 36 volts and that just needs 30. So we'll put these in and then we'll, cause, and then we'll charge each of these like individually. And then what we can do is, you know, then we'll have a running cart and we'll see if anything else is wrong with it. Like I said, like the motor or the power controller. That's good. All right, so we got the alligator clips out, and we're just gonna hook we just these. We see the power zone. We soldered in series to it, and now we're gonna. And then what we'll be able, then we'll like just turn the key, and see if we have power and such. All right, so it ended up working. We just had to. There was another wire we had to include. I think it was power to the motor or something. Um, so what that means is that we're hooking up these batteries now, 
so we can get a more, um, you know, more reliable power source instead of alligator clips. We just want to see it work. So now we have this kind of rigged up and what we'll do is we'll put all this together and put it in the cart. All right guys, so here's our professional battery box inside a Rubbermaid. And then we just have the wires tucked in here and then here, power and ground that we already um, electrical taped our power. So what we'll do is we'll electrical, electrical tape that one and we'll put the seat on and take it for a spin. Oh yeah, we're rolling. It doesn't sound happy. Yo, all right, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna hop in. All right, guys, we're going for a tr on a trip. All right, let's go. This is literally the Jeep. <laughs> Bro. Yo. This is awesome. Sorry if there's wind noise, guys. I'm filming with my phone. Yo. Nothing. Just batteries. It was literally only the batteries that was the issue, guys. This is awesome. And it was free. No. Why? Not yet. You're like, get this. Dude, this is sick. This is like a cruiser, too. I know, it's nice. It's real nice. It's also very Oh! It locks them up. I don't know how good of video quality this is, but. Look both ways. Oh, yeah. And the tires are good. Making a U turn. That was the easiest. A little place. bit of tire. Batteries might not be that happy. Are they hot? No. Yeah, make reverse, like, action. All right, we'll test all the gears. In quotes. Oh yeah, reverse. It's not basically a Tesla. That turning radius, oh my god. <laughs> literally it needs nothing. Yeah, everything, like it literally just needs one battery. Hopefully those batteries get charged, but brakes work. Now we're just gonna take it for a spin, guys. All right, so we're just gonna like explore right, this we're a lot. we're wheeling now. Oh, oh we're gonna get stuck. Uh oh, should we stay out of this guy's back here? Oh, oh, yeah. uh oh, uh oh, we're gonna lose the batteries. All right, come on. All right, holding the batteries. We Camera are quality is impeccable. Perfect. Get some road footage. Here, up. Oh, wait, no, we need someone holding the batteries. Yeah. All right, whatever. <laughs> this is perfect. Should we go down the curve? Yeah, sure. Oh, dang. Test the ground clearance, boy. Oh. oh. <laughs> Perfect. All right. And we're pulling away. Pulling, oh, geez. That's what we're doing. This is really slow. It's actually not bad. It's like, I, I think it it's because, like, when you're on a cart path, it seems like it's, um, dude, moto vlogs. We're doing golf cart vlogs. Oh, my gosh. Think of the, think of the endless capabilities. Like, look, look. We're going up this now, boys. Could you do this on your... Yes. Subi moto? Yes. Not at these speeds. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, now we're rolling down flex. Oh. That was some flex. This is gonna be so cringe. Alright, so we charged it up a little bit and we got the top on. So we're gonna take it for another drive. Oh yeah, riding in style. 20 bucks it goes faster now.
All right, guys, so that was a pretty successful drive. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge up each individual battery because these lasted about five minutes until it completely dies. But it was a fun, like at the beginning, it was going pretty fast, but yeah, it's pretty cool. We also put the top on there. All right, so I got all the batteries out and what I'm doing now is just trying to get like a base charge on them just to see if they'll actually hold anything because um, some of them were a little bit low on water and I just kind of topped them off, but the date says they're pretty old and they didn't have any voltage in them. They were all at like three volts. So I'm just going to put each one of these on the charger, like a trickle charge for a couple hours and see if I can get anything in them. All right, so now we're starting the disassembly process. Just got that back seat out and we got the batteries out. So we'll probably take off. We're trying to get just the white trim pieces on or by themselves that because we're going to paint them uh, like a royal blue color. Ah, there we go. All right. So now we're just stripping it down and getting ready for paint. All right, guys. So we just got some of the side trim out. It's kind of rusty, but it's fine. Uh, so now what we're doing is we're just drilling out some of the rivets. There should be some under here. Hell yeah. And there's a lot of rivets under here and a rusty floor pan. That's not too bad. So yeah, hopefully next thing we're doing is taking this back piece off. All right, so let's see what's up. Oh, wait. Oh, there's this connected. All right, so we just got to undo this connection. We should be able to lift it off. All right, guys. So we got the uh, the main like tub off or whatever you want to call it. So now, for fun, we're going to put some batteries in it and take it for a drive. That'll be pretty fun. All right, so we figured it'd be fun to drive it with like no body on it, except for the front, but we're just gonna mask off the front when we paint it. So yeah. Uh... We're just gonna work on get jerry-rigging this up. All right guys, we just shot the intro of this video and it's like really good. And it was worth a lot of, it took a long time and a lot of confidence of me driving. But we put a seat on it. I, I kind of wanted to sit on the front for fun and it oh by the way is way faster now that weighs a lot less and stuff so pretty cool and now we're just gonna have fun until the battery dies and by the way so the next stage of this build will be new batteries as well as uh, paint and we're gonna use an HVLP spray gun all that stuff should turn out really good it just looks so funny with the uh Right, guys thanks for watching so this is going to conclude the first part of this build which is the disassembly next part will be paint and batteries and basically getting it completely done so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe for part two of that and also check out the channel for other cool go-kart and jeep stuff thanks for watching